In this part, we will consider Shihonaki details, which will help you understand the determinant components of Shihonaki technique and their value in the process of the technique execution. As always, this is the most important part of the lesson in terms of the comprehension of the technique and the development of technical sensitivity in your practice. So, examine the presented critical details and gain accuracy in your Shiho Nagi performance. Merging with Uke is a fundamental process in Aikido practice. The merging mechanics is very easy to underestimate due to our natural repulsion to this process. Therefore, remember that you need an extra effort to consider the merging or uniting elements of Aikido techniques. First, notice how you offer your hand to Uke to practice basic Shihonagi in Aihan Mikatotatori. You need to have a potential to fork Uke's forum. From the previous lessons, we know how to go under for EQ or how to go above for Kotegaishi, for instance. In this case, when you practice Shihonagi, we go in the middle for the fork grip. In the final two hand grip, you will have this two hand grip forking around Uke's wrist. Besides forking for the grip in the merging action, you must address the structure of your body to establish the right contact with Uke. The body structure application provides you with the appropriate influence and required sensitivity for the further entrance. We will perform a developing exercise to understand this detail of conditioning process for Shihonagi or motor variation. Uke performs Munetsuki strike and you fend off the punch with a conditioning movement. Do not amortize the punch with your arm muscles by bending your arm. Use the structure of your arm and explore the position of your palm to transmit an impulse to the punch structure of Uke's arm. So, when you meet the punch, make sure you keep the structure of your arm. It's a little bump and you do not follow the punch in hand. Uke must also realize that they do not push after the bump when the target is out of range. Uke immediately rethinks their action. You move in the horizontal direction. You must observe how your bumping action causes Uke's reaction and they immediately settle back. Be sure to use the structure of your arm. Attempt to measure the bumping effect and eventually you will develop the right action with such exercise. With the taste of the contact you have experienced in the offered exercise, you come back to Aihani Katatatori practice. When Uke attempts to grab you, you initiate the conditioning movement. With the correct mind, which is distance and timing, you will create an unbalancing effect for Uke. By changing your position with the body turn and with the fended action of your arm structure, you unbalance them for the further entrance. You also need to understand that your action is only half of the process. It is also their desire to grab you, which unbalances them. They want to make a solid grip and your little conditioning action prohibits them from reaching such goal. So they adjust for the solid grip and get unbalanced. Explore this extremely important detail of merging or just be aware. If you cannot grasp these mechanics from the start, you will get it later with the development of your overall technical sensitivity. Also, another way to look at this technical detail is to address the concept of leaning. When Uke is grabbing you, you are like leaning onto the grip with the condition in turn jeopardizing the solid structure of the attacking arm. 
But this leaning refers to horizontal direction. It's like you curve the angle of influence, they push onto you and you push away. But it's not pushing, it's leaning. Never push down. Address the support materials about the concept of leaning to gain understanding and establish the right connection. In order of variation of Shihonage, the emphasis of the practice must be made on the 10 kind rotation mechanics, which is the subject of the following parts of this lesson. In the merging element, you establish the foregrip with your wrist turn and open space for your entrance with the help of your arm structures. There are no special details here except for the core basic details. Body structure, arms forms, and the front plane of your center. The established grip must be always positioned in the front plane of your center. Never push down. In this lesson, for the first time in our basic techniques program, we'll consider Aikido technique performance in Gyakyu Hangi Katata Tori. I believe Shihonagi provides one of the best opportunities to get acquainted with Gyakyu Hanmi Wasa. There are no additional maneuvers needed for Shihonagi or in Gyakyu Hanmi. The same as in Aikami, you establish the grip and open space for taking the strategic position. The way you establish the grip is different. You cannot fork Uke's arm with your exposed hand. Therefore, you establish the grip of Uke's wrist area with your second hand to create a controlling effect to take the strategic position. It will improve our ability to create such required tension for the Uke's arm with the corresponding drill later in this lesson. For now, just look at the movement. You establish the controlling grip immediately and step forward with your front leg to take the strategic position. Be aware that with the grip establishment you create the connection which allows you to take the strategic position. You rotate in tenkan movement, extending Uke's attacking arm in the same direction of the attack. You keep the posture, use the structure of your arms, comply with all the requirements of the core basics. Before circling around for Shihonaki execution, make sure you unbalance Uke with a help of creative tension and your body structure. Do not hurry to relocate your front foot. First, start leading the grip point. You do not ever pull up. You lead in the horizontal direction. Complete the procedure of Shihonaki technique the same way as in the other cases. Adjust the angle and lead Uke down with the help of your body structure. with Uke and establish the grips. You must be looking for complete utilization of your round forms in your Shihonage practice. The earlier you realize that the arm structure, not the muscles, is the instrument of your influence, the better. Look forward to develop the new mindset. All the described details here are aimed to serve as the support tool to develop such mindset and change the essence of your actions. After the grip establishment for Shihonage, pay attention to the structure of your arms. Most often beginners bend their arm when they move. It means they do not utilize their arm structures in their actions. 
they continue formal repetition of movements which resemble Shihonage technique, but they do not have actual control. Be aware and make sure you use the structure of your arms in such movement of Shihonage performance. Do not tense your shoulder muscles. Keep your shoulders deep with your actions. They complete the arms form for the full arm structure, which reassures highest efficiency of your actions. Create the tension and measure the tension while you perform the technique. This is how you develop the new skills. Make effort to create the tension with the help of your arm structures. Measure the tension when you move. Be aware that you cannot measure when your full arm structure is broken and you immediately switch to the direct muscle application. Explore and focus your efforts accordingly in your Shihonage practice. Remember that this is a universal technical principle which refers to all other Aikido techniques. When you lead Uke's arm structure, you can regulate the tension with the help of the twisted motion of your hands, increasing or decreasing the tension as appropriate. All this process requires very little physical strength. Within the rotation, you make sure there are no gaps in the control enforced by your arm structures. Therefore, lead in the horizontal direction. When you watch Shiho Nage performance, it may seem to you Nage pulls up the grip to Zoda. So, when you try to imitate the movement, you simply pull up as an imitation of what you saw. But this is wrong. Your interpretation is wrong. You must lead in the horizontal direction. Another important detail here is that you keep your elbows up in the rotation. After the rotation, there is tendency that you lead your elbow down like preparing to pull Uke down. This is wrong. Keep your elbows up and maintain control with the help of your arm structures. Do not hurry to pull down. This is not about pulling or pushing. This is about leadership. You control and lead Uke. So there are two contact points which provides the control. The first one is the grip and there is always another one which is dynamic. It alters with the rotation. Keep your elbow up and maintain control within the rotation in the horizontal plane till the moment when the lead down opportunity is available. When you take the strategic position, you must realize the spot you take will be the center of the system rotation. So you create a new entity where Uke will be a part of this entity, not only you. Such attitude will provide you with understanding where to be soft and where to be rigid and persistent. In Shihonage, when you take the strategic position, you have to be rigid to the extent when you even extrude Uke's body with your geda to unbalance them. At least you need the get up contact to organize and fulfill the rotation based on the solid body structure. You must be solid and well balanced for two of you. It must be your concern. So in the process of the control rotation, you establish the get up prop, which serves as the platform for the tension and you can lean your torso a little forward in the front plane of your center. Your arm structures are the extension of your torso. All these details stand for the solid body structure in Shifu Nagi technique rotation. Due to the body structure application, you keep Uke unbalanced all the way within your control rotation. As a checkpoint, 
you can test your control in Jordan point. Uke can try to pull their arm back or unbalance you. And your solid body structure must not allow that to happen. Keep and measure the tension with rotation in the horizontal direction. Remember, never bend your torso to the sides. You are focused in the front plane of your sand. Lean in, grip your location, everything. If this instruction is not clear for you, please address the corresponding support video materials of the leaning together with the BPM section lessons to understand the requirements. Establish Shihonagi control. You regulate the control tension with the help of the two contact points. As it was already mentioned, the first contact is the wrist grip, and the second point is dynamic and changes with your rotation. So, with rotation, you may come to the point when you have only one control point, which is the wrist control. You can come to this point in two ways. The first one is when you attempt to pull down and in this process commonly elbow goes down first to initiate the pulling movement and therefore you lose the control point. This is actually a wrong intention to pull down. The second one is when although you keep the contact with the correct arm structure you rotate excessively and therefore you exhaust the second contact point with your spin. Both cases must be avoided. So the question is, what is the target control position at the final stage of your Shihonage performance? The answer is, you must not allow Uki's wrist approach their shoulder. If you allow this to happen, Uki will regain balance and will be able to resist effectively. So, you must rotate and alter the control contact point to the degree when you create a triangular control element, equilateral triangle. As an exercise, each time you reach the triangle shape control of your arms, check the core basics requirements, posture, arm forms, front line of the center utilization. The triangular shape control is an important basic control element of Shihonage, but it is not sufficient to lead Uke down. There is another obligatory component you must address too. So before making an attempt to lead Uke down, you must adjust your position with a little step of your back leg, so that the front plane of your center coincides with the Subiotoshi of Uke. When everything is perfectly aligned, the wrist grip, Sumiotoshi, all of this aligned in the front plane of your center, you are ready to go. Maintain the tension with the help of the structure of your body and lead Uke down in the right direction with the power of your center. Sometimes, you are very close to the position without additional adjustment step. It's good. But as a beginner, do not ever be lazy to adjust. Take this adjustment step seriously as a link in your sequence of movements in Shihonage. So be aware of the target positions and within practice adjust your movements for the best efficiency of your IKEA actions.